Hit any gym on a Monday night and I can pretty much guarantee you every bench is being used. It's International Chess Day and it's a weekly ritual for the bros. I rarely train chess on its own day and definitely never on a Monday night. However, every once in a while, just to mix things up, even I like to join in on the fun. What's up, Joel Paquette here from Blue Star Nutraceuticals and today I'm going to take you through an intermediate level chess workout, bro session style. So chug back that PPK pre-workout and let's get to work. For this workout, I'll be performing four sets in linear fashion and finishing off with a superset. I'll be staying in the 8 to 12 rep range with a focus on muscle hypertrophy and taking two minute rest between each set. For the eccentric portion of the lift, the lowering, go slow and controlled. For the concentric portion, the lifting, be explosive. For each exercise, I like to leave a few reps in the tank on the first couple of sets, then aim to hit failure on the last two. This allows me to work up safely and get a better idea of what weight I'll be using to hit a failure in the proper rep range. And since I'm in the Blue Star Nutraceutical state-of-the-art facility, I'll be throwing a few modern day training tools into the mix. As always, ensure to get a good dynamic warm-up to begin. The workout will be listed for you in the description below. Exercise 1, incline bench press with an axle bar. 5 sets, 12, 10, 8, 8, 6 reps. I like to always start out with a compound movement. There are some guys who like to pre-exhaust the muscle with a less demanding exercise, but I prefer to go heavy and hard right at the beginning. I also feel that sticking to a compound movement allows you to progressively overload your muscles more efficiently, allowing for better progress. I'm using an axle bar for this movement, but any regular power bar will be just fine. Keep your shoulders back and take a grip just wider than shoulder width. Bring the bar down to just below your chin to your upper chest area, and press it back up to just short of lockout. You want to keep constant tension on the muscle here. Just like a piston in an engine, no pausing, constant movement. Exercise two, one arm dumbbell presses. Four sets, 12, 10, eight, eight. This is one of my favorite chest exercises. Moving away from your typical two arm dumbbell press to using just one arm at a time really forces you to stabilize your core. Grab a dumbbell, lay back, and make sure you have a good foundation set and your core is braced and tight. Drive that dumbbell up with explosiveness. If you're new to this movement, start with a light weight until you get the hang of it. The last thing you need is a dumbbell getting loose and coming down on your chest. Exercise 3, pec deck flies. 3 sets, 15, 12, 10. Keep your elbows fairly locked and squeeze your chest hard. It should be your chest moving the weight, not your shoulders and arms. Exercise number 4, earthquake bar bench press. 3 sets, 15, 12, 10. This bar is an excellent training tool. It's made out of bamboo and conducts and targets kinetic energy, helping to heal and stabilize muscles and allows for healthy joint function. It's great for rehab and prehab to avoid injuries. You simply tie weights around the bar with bands and it'll shake like crazy throughout the movement. If you don't have one available, use a regular barbell for this exercise. Like with any flat bench press, keep your shoulders back and tight to the bench and grip just wider than shoulder width. Slow and controlled eccentric and explosive concentric movement. Exercise 5A, incline machine press, three sets, 15, 12, 10. I'll finish up with a super set of incline machine presses and fat bell flat flies. Complete them back to back with no rest period and then take two minutes of rest between each super set. At the Blue Star facility, we have a reloaded ISO incline press by Arsenal Strength. If you have a gym in your area with Arsenal Strength or Westside barbell equipment, join it because it'll be the best gym around. Again, slow eccentric and explosive concentric and keep your shoulders back against the bench. Exercise 5B. Fat Bell Flat Flies, 3 sets, 15, 12, 10. I'll be using Donnie Thompson Fat Bells here instead of Dumbbells. If you don't have access to these, regular Dumbbells would be just fine. Fat Bells have the handles inside the weight, allowing for equal weight distribution and a greater range of motion. Keep your elbows fairly locked. Stretch down and bring your arms up. If you're struggling with this exercise, just think about hugging a big tree. You want to really squeeze your pecs. Avoid lowering the weights below your shoulders. That will cause unnecessary strain. And that's a wrap. I suggest throwing in 15 minutes of hard conditioning work at the end. Prowler sled, tire sledgehammer smashes, farmer's walk, kettlebell swings, battle ropes, whatever works for you. Just go hard and all out. Smash the thumbs up if you like this workout and you're pumped to give it a shot. And of course, subscribe to Blue Star Nutraceuticals for more kick-ass workouts and videos just like this. As always, stay strong.